Sam Miguel back with another video and this is going to be a response to the Antichrist unit's response to my video. They decided to revisit their weak video of the so-called prophecy of Tazadaki's N-word comeback because they were shown to be liars. My video which is titled Disconfirmed Expectancy which means failed prophecy. It's a psychological term for failed prophecy. You can see that I touched on many different so-called prophecies that Tazadaki made. But the Antichrist unit only decided selectively to go with the prophecy of the N-word. Now let's watch this ridiculous video. With the emotional, you play to your emotions, piano music here. So the prophecy came from the God sent comforter, holy apostle and chief high priest Tazadaki during his class teachings. Many of these classes were recorded in between 2007 and 2009. Where's the proof that the classes were recorded between 2007 and 2009? If Tazadaki did prophesy that the N-word gonna, was gonna make a comeback because of Obama becoming president in 2007, Obama didn't become president until 2008. He was elected president in November of 2008 and came into office in January of 2009. And according to their DVDs, the prophecies took place in 2009, after the fact. This was already after Obama was running for president. Tazadaki didn't make a prophecy that Obama was going to win the presidency and then the racial slurs were going to come. He didn't make the prophecy until after Obama became president. He didn't make his so-called prophecy, which is just an educated guess is what it is. And it doesn't mean that it came from God. It doesn't even mean that it came from his own mind because there were people already talking about this. And we're going to go into other articles. There's an article here about Obama's election spurring uh, racial threats and crimes. Now, this was back as soon as Obama got elected. There was cross burnings, schools, school children chanting assassinate Obama, black figures hung from nooses. This was already happening when Obama got elected. He said, I can't say that every white person in Smellville is evil and anti-Obama and willing to desecrate my property because one or two idiots did it. So just because one or two people do something you can't label one event to say that, oh, this is happening worldwide or this is an epidemic. And this is what they're doing in order to make their prophecy look as it was some type of big prophecy that was fulfilled. You're ruling out the possibility that Tazadaki made an educated guess based on what was going on at the time. And even before Obama became president, there was racist attacks growing. This was in February 20th, 2008, when Obama was selected as the first black Democratic nominee for president. People were already posting things all over the internet, going crazy. But the point is that this was already known in February 20th, 2008. This is why Tazadakia felt the need to try to push his prophecy back to 2007 but when you look at their video, they only show that Tadadakia made this so-called prophecy in 2009, after the fact. If he has any prophetic powers, he would have guessed that Obama was going to be nominated before the fact. And, and then that would have caused racial tensions. But he waited until Obama got nominated for president in, in late 2008 in order to make his so-called prophecy and you're ruling out again you're ruling out the fact that this was just an educated guess you want to assume that this is a prophecy but you guys failed to talk about the h1n1 failed prophecy and this is all basically selective thinking if you look into selective thinking is the process whereby one selects out favorable evidence for remembrance and focus while ignoring unfavorable ever evidence for a belief. So you point out one educated guess that Tazadaki made and you leave out 
the H1N1 so-called prophecy. The prophecy was that the vaccine was going to be released and kill millions. The vaccine was never released. So if Tadadaki had any prophetic powers, he would have knew that the vaccine would have not been released eventually. So that is a failed prophecy. I mean, if Tadadaki really made such a grand, great prophecy, it would be known. You wouldn't have to go on YouTube and make your case to show that this was already spoken of before. It would be known and it would be an amazing event. But yet you're over here trying to prove that Tazadaki made a prophecy that came to pass. You already lost when you have to try to prove that. That's how you know this is not a big deal. This wasn't something that is a specific prophecy. It's a vague thing. It's a vague happenstance. It's not specific. It doesn't talk about any specific dates. It doesn't talk about one specific event. It doesn't, it doesn't rule out an educated guess. So you're just wanting to assume that Tazadake said something that God told him was going to happen and it came to pass because again, you have a bias. So you want to choose one little thing that looks like he's got right out of all the things that he said. Somebody can say a million things and get one thing right and you're gonna choose that one thing and focus on that but selectively leave out that all the other stuff he said didn't happen so going back to this ridiculous video here with the heartfelt music in one of our previous videos we briefly used footage from the class the promise which was released on the DVD in 2009 not 2008 not 2007 not before Obama was elected. Obviously, the so-called prophecy happened after Obama was elected because Tazadakia wasn't going to come out and guess that, yeah, Obama will be elected because that would be too much of a specific prediction. If you go into statistics of crimes and, and, and blacks being killed, black people are killing blacks more often than anybody else. Don't you know what's happening in Chicago? Why is Tazadakia not speaking about the bigger issues within the black community? Black on black crime. Chirac. Have you guys not been watching the news about what's happening in Chicago? Do I have to show CNN footage of that? Let's go back to this bias video. It is easy for a gainsayer to look back now in 2018 and say the N-word didn't go anywhere. It didn't go anywhere. And you can go through all these YouTube comments. Go through all these YouTube comments, especially go through videos where it's black people committing a crime or something like that. And go through the comments and tell me if you don't see thousands of racist, racist comments. You guys showed a video of Kramer on stage in 2006. Why are you showing a video of Kramer in 2006 when you guys are saying that 2009 Tazadaki made this prophecy? You, do, you guys don't point out the errors that you make. And especially don't point out the errors that Tazadaki makes. Because if you point out the mistakes that Tazadaki makes, that's going to make him look less of a holy man. Because you guys look at this man like he can do no wrong. But you guys are not showing his mistakes because you can't. By his cult leader rule book, that would make him look less of a holy man. So he can't allow you to do that. And I'm sure that he came out and said to make another video in response to my video because you guys don't move unless Tazadaki tells you to. So why is Tazadaki having to go back and do this? Because he knows that he was lying when he said that in 2007 he made this prophecy. He was lying. You guys are out here calling all these ex-members liars because they once believed one thing and then they changed their minds. So you want to make them look as if they're not reliable because they changed their mind. Tazadakis is on video agreeing to Masha being King David, the reincarnation of King David. Tazadakia used to teach that Christ was going to come back in the year 2000. For many years, he used to teach that. So if you're going to look at inconsistencies, why don't you look at everybody's inconsistencies? You're inconsistent with who you're showing to be inconsistent. <laughs> You're wanting to show all these ex-members. And that's the only excuse you use is that they used to be in the church and they once believed because they were under that mind control, that psychological manipulation that you guys are under, where you guys only choose to see one thing. So back to the video. 
However, that is not what everyone thought about nine or ten years ago before the election of Obama. So, who is everyone? Everyone thought that about nine or ten years ago before the election of Obama that people weren't going to be racist. Who's everyone? You're just stereotyping and just grouping everybody together. Not everyone thought that. So this is a psychological error. You can't group everyone as saying one thing. You don't look at all the details and you don't look at things analy analytically to show the differences and the variations. You guys this is false that nothing he says comes to pass. But you know what else is a false statement? That everything he says comes to pass. That's also a false statement. So again, people are overgeneralizing and you're using this statement to point out that maybe something that he does say comes to pass. So you gotta see how they selectively, you know, choose what to, to address and what not to address. Again, how come you didn't address the fact that the H1N1 vaccine never killed millions of people? That is a prophecy that Tazadakia made that did not come to pass. You guys don't wanna think about that because it causes cognitive dissonance. It causes a psychological discomfort. But the pride in a gainsayer, so I guess this is talking about me. The pride in a gainsayer won't allow them to admit that they are wrong. What am I wrong about? You're not admitting that Tazadakia was wrong about the H1N1 vaccine. You will never admit that Tazadakia was wrong because he won't let you admit it because he himself won't admit that he was ever wrong. Especially if they want to appear to others as though they are intelligent. You're saying that I'm trying to appear to others as though I'm intelligent. They will read out of an online encyclopedia to appear as though they understand psychology. What's wrong with reading from an online encyclopedia? You can go into uh, these psychological terms and make a connection and show your psychological errors very easily. I don't have to be a graduate of psychology or, or hold any degrees of psychology to understand that you guys are in a cult. It's obvious that cult members have a lot of psychological errors. Um, this is where they cut off my video. Expectancy, which is a psychological term for failed prophecy. Like Tazadaki is a pathological liar. So, so this is um, right here is what I wanted to point out. What facts am I getting wrong? What in this definition of disconfirmed expectancy did I get wrong? Why didn't you point that out? See, what these people are experts are doing is ad hominem attacks, just like their their master, Tazadakia. Instead of addressing the arguments, they'll try to take your attention away from the argument to make the person that's making the argument seem unreliable. There's nothing wrong with using an online encyclopedia. We can go to other encyclopedias to show that the definition that Wikipedia has is actually in tune with what the real definition is. How do you know that I didn't fact check before I went on Wikipedia? So why don't you point out what was wrong about what I said? The Antichrist unit, which is property of the ICGJC, needs to be more objective in their thinking to show what is happening as a whole and stop being selective in your thinking by focusing on favorable evidence and ignoring unfavorable evidence for your belief.